Oh, look who we have on 1011 morning. Look, 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 look. This look, the, well, these veteran well, actors. My, Terry the, Grant here? No, <laughs> look, Rory Calhoun and Ed Nelson. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, listen, I, I'm so thrilled because Ed, now I, I won't say this, but I've been in love with this man for years and years and years. Well, you're in a big Where crowd. Where have you been? You're in a big crowd. <laughs> Rory, Rory Calhoun, you know, I can't remember a specific film that, you know, that I said, oh, Rory Calhoun was in that. It's just that I've had a thing about you my whole life. Rory right? Calhoun, you embodied everything, gorgeous, mm. well, I, and we get to finally meet him. I just, I have, I, I'm stuck for an answer, <laughs> but thank you, thank you very much. Is that your real name? It no, Rory? my real name is Francis Timothy McCown. Is it really? Yeah, that's it. Rory was kind of... But it's too long for the marquee, you see. Mm -hmm. Well, I like, I like Rory. Ed, 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 that seems like a regular name. Yeah, and regular <laughs> guy, yeah, that's right. We saw him in Peyton Place and, and so many, many films all along the way. You've always been like a second banana. That's right. But so many. He's done over 70 films. How many have you done? Oh, I don't know. Let's see, after the Crab Monsters, everything is history. After the Crab Monsters? <laughs> That's right. Well, listen, he's got one like that, Motel Hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know how many films I've been in. Television has been the mainstay for me in plays, but uh, I also had a, you know... How, a, how many a of those Peyton things. Places did you do? You 514 500. of those. But, uh, but we did, I also had a thing in Alma Gantry, and I was in Judgment at Nuremberg, so they won some also nice awards. And, mm -hmm. Uh, Crab Monsters didn't win a lot yet. Oh. <laughs> Still hope at 4 o'clock in the morning, you know. But this is an exciting project we're involved in now. And this is, of course, uh, every now and then something like this mm -hmm. comes along and you want to become a part of it. And mm -hmm. uh, so we're very fortunate and pleased to be a part of this exciting project. It's called Capital and it's a soap opera. And we watched you film yesterday. Uh, and it, it was bitterly cold. Yes. You're on a horse. How do you feel about all the, there must have been a hundred people standing around watching, and well, a great delay. Are you a patient person? Well, they, they pay you a great deal of money to be patient, you know, and uh, so I've been you know, fairly successful at that part of it. When you get back to the room, you yell and rant and rave and kick and things. But in the meantime, there's audience there while the press is there. And we had a lot of work to accomplish, and you were very good. All of you were very good. You, you know, you stood in all the right places and didn't make a lot of noise for us. And but it doesn't bother you that all those people so are much. intensely focusing upon you to see well, what you'll do. Not so much. The Without horse, my glasses, I couldn't see anything. He, he had a horse that didn't want to go where he, yeah, he wanted yeah. him to go. Yeah, the horse was not a picture horse, and so consequently he kept shying away. And every now and then some people would get close, and it would be hard to hit a mark with him. Mm -hmm. But, uh, no, that's part of it. And... Uh, no, I enjoyed it, really, mm -hmm. kind of thing. Well, Roy, of all the 70 films that you have done, which, which are you most proud of? Uh, one I made many, many years ago uh, was Susan Hayward called With a Song in My Heart. With a Song in My Heart. Right. Yeah, I've been and it was the story of Jane show. Froman. Sure. Oh, oh for, yes. Uh, Missouri Lark. Yes. And, and it was I her, her life story. Mm -hmm. And it, it, was, it was a marvelous, marvelous experience. and, and uh, she should have won the Academy Award for mm -hmm. that, for, for her performance in that. And it, all day long on the set, you'd hear the hear these records going over and over again, and she was mouthing it to, in the mirror so that when it came out, her fortunately her speaking voice matched Jane Froman's mm -hmm. singing voice. Mm -hmm. So you never knew that it wasn't really uh, <coughs> Susan Hayward doing the singing too. She was a wonderful a performer, great and a great gal to work with, and. Very, very professional. Mm -hmm. Taught well, me some lessons, good ones. Uh, this this uh, show, Capital, is being filmed partly in Washington, D.C., and the rest of it will take place out in Hollywood, right? That's right, the is, West Coast, Washington. Does that mean you guys are going to have to go back and forth and back and forth? Uh, somewhat, you know, not... Uh, I heard uh, something uh, yesterday <laughs> that they plan on three or four times a, a year to come out here, I guess to pick up the seasonal changes mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm which you can't, you don't get in Southern California. You have a season. You know? Have you two ever worked before? Have you met before this? Oh, we've met before, many years. But you've never worked we've together before. We've been good friends for a long time. Long time. And so, uh, as with other members of the cast, when you look at the list of who else is in it, you know, you say, well, now you can measure the quality of a project oh, yes. by the producer, the director, and so forth, the script, and who else is in it. And uh, there's a lot of quality here. Mm -hmm. I've never worked with uh, any of the rest of the cast before. Well, but I've known them yeah, over, over many, many years. But 
it's going to be fascinating to watch this thing develop. It's just in its infancy, but I have a feeling a lot of emphasis is going to be placed on this, and I think a lot of people are going to be watching. Well, I hope we justify that. I hope that. so. Mm -hmm. It's going to get better with these episodes and get thicker and stickier, and things are going to happen. How far down the road have you seen the script? Thursday. Oh. Thursday. Well, I, I remember from the other show that I did that they, uh, they don't let you get too much knowledge ahead because uh, they know we talk sometimes too freely. And so they don't want us to know what's going to happen to us. So we're just going to have to tune in and find out, hmm? And so are we. Daily on Capitol here on 1011 Strong. Rory Calhoun, what a pleasure to finally meet you. Certainly my pleasure. Very nice. And Ed, thank you very much. Enjoyed it. It's Capitol right here on 1011 Strong. And 1011 Morning continues.